Now that the 49ers have Lance and Garoppolo, what's the state of the quarterback room? Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Let's not say quarterback room. What's the state of their quarterbacks? Yeah, the position. Okay. So here's what we got. And this is I, – I love this, Iggy, and thanks for letting me go first. And of course. you can have the final word because you know more than I do. They have really gotten themselves a terrific backup quarterback who can lead the team if he needs yeah. to. But he can't win a Super Bowl. I like Jimmy. I know that Jimmy doesn't like you, Iggy, but if he knew you, he'd like you because you're both nice guys. Um, I think he's he's can do very many good things, and he's a really good competitor. I, I admire that about him. He, he can get you to the big game and lose it. Um, so he's not quite what you want him to be. Having said that, that doesn't mean that Trey Lance can get you to the big game and win it. Right. We don't know the first thing about him, Iggy, until right. he it really plays a real game. Right. So my answer to that question is, how good are their quarterbacks? I have no idea. Right. I know Jimmy is good enough, but not good enough to, to take you where you need to go. Right. I don't know who Trey Lance is. So my answer to that question is a big, fat question mark. Right. So like the, the state of their position, all, all players included, it's... It's better than it was a few days ago, but we don't know if it's good enough yet. Right. It's like they got more depth. Yeah. But depth is good. Depth but is good. Did they get elite. No, this didn't make them elite. This gave them depth. Yeah. And I think it was John Madden who said, if you have two quarterbacks, you have no quarterback. And in this sense, I mean, it's not the Niners have no quarterback, but to really be a legit Super Bowl contender, you need a you need a super quarterback. You need a top yeah. 10, 8, 7, 5, or a, a great quarterback. And I don't think the Niners have one yet. May, Trey Lance might be one one day. I don't think Jimmy's ever going to be one, so we'll see. Right. Yeah. So these developments this week are really interesting. I've never, ever seen anything play out like this. Um, I'm – really praise the 49ers for what they're doing. I have no idea how good their starting quarterback is. And until we know that, there's a lot of questions about this team. And it's so funny. There's teams like the Green Bay Packers that just have Aaron Rodgers for 15 years and don't think about it. The Niners with Kyle have had to be so creative and strategic with this position every freaking year just to be like good enough. At this at the spot, and it's. And meanwhile, they've passed on some seriously great quarterbacks. Hopefully, it all works out for them. But name some they passed up on: uh, Tom Brady, Matthew Stafford, Patrick Mahomes. Those are big three. Those are big three. Those hey, big Iggy, three. I got to tell you, yeah, I was watching Joe Rogan the other day, and he did an interview with Aaron Rodgers. I don't know Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I knew him in college. He was really interesting. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, he was talking about his time at Cal. Yeah. And he took a listen to this. He took a class. I'm not making this up in food appreciation. No way. Iggy, he said there were 100 people in the class and 15. Aaron, if I got it wrong, I apologize. 15 of them were football players. Iggy, at UCLA, was there a class in food appreciation? Maybe there was. I'm not saying there wasn't. I don't know. I took a class called Korean drumming, which was a lot of fun with some football players. <laughs> Look, a lot of fun. When I went to Stanford, now, again, I was in the English department. I never heard of a class called food appreciation. But anyway, you, go? You, you went there and you would eat pass fail. I don't know. But here's what happened. He had to do a paper uh -huh. and he handed in his paper on food appreciation. It's Aaron Rodgers. But, you know, in his footnotes, he didn't. You know, you always screw up footnotes. He, so he used the word cite. I didn't cite correctly. And according to him, other people who didn't cite correctly the teacher let them redo the paper yeah. so they could get their citations correct, but wouldn't let him. And all these years later, he was still angry at, at this lady. And he and he actually called her, Aaron, uh, please forgive me, but I thought I heard him say she was just a fucking food, food appreciation teacher. So it was fascinating. It was fascinating to me to know that up the road in Berkeley, you could take food appreciation and, and he still pissed that she gave him a tough time about his citations. Seems like he doesn't really appreciate his food even to this day. <laughs> anyway, I loved how he told the story. It made my day. So thank you, Aaron. Don't you think, doesn't he seem like the kind of guy who has like an endless list of 
grievances against people that he never forgets? Yes, I, him and Michael Jordan. Yeah, I, like can't you see Aaron Rodgers at his Hall of Fame speech just giving the longest, most bitter <laughs> speech? This person didn't believe in me. This food appreciation teacher tried to ruin my my dreams. Like, f- fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I could see that from, from Aaron Rodgers. Anyway, God love him. <laughs>